yeah, we're here with the Nitschkes, and we're just going to ask them a few questions about their experience with Opti Service. Firstly, guys, tell us your name and where you're from. Yeah, uh, Murray Nitschke, Ashgrove, and Meandara. Yeah, I'm Tristan Nitschke from uh, Acacia at Meandara as well. Okay, and, and what's your business called? And, and tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Well, we trade, I guess, as a family trust, and we uh, it's a family uh, business, obviously. Mix grain and cropping and cattle uh, at Meandara, and then the Dolby part of the property is just all cropping, dry land. Okay. Right. This goes international too, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... Okay, so what problems did you have when you went looking for a you know, solution like OptiSurface? Major drainage problems. Uh, we lost a lot of cotton out of Mandara um, uh, first year, and uh, that was... We obviously had to do something serious about it. Okay, so ponding yep. in, the f- in the field, just yeah. drowning out yeah. dryland cotton. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also erosion issues and yeah, and uh, everything related with high water flows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, are, yeah, hundred percent dry land cropping. At, at, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. And what concerns did you have once you heard about OptiSurface in terms of implementation? Um, I guess the only concern really that I had was sort of getting to know the use of the software and, and it was a big steep learning curve, I guess. Um, and, and obviously when we started using the software, software, the bucket and all that was new to us as well. So it was a, a big learning curve, but yeah, OptiService came sort of fairly highly recommended to us. So we were I'm fairly confident about that it would perform, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And you said you had some reservations about you know, just investing in the in the equipment in the first place. What what return you'd get, I guess, on on that investment was there? Oh, that was a fairly easy sum, wasn't it? The, was it? You mean I think it, long term? I think we could justify that quite easily. Yeah, the losses we saw even that one year in in cotton in, in one paddock would was uh, would have just about paid for the equipment and stuff. The equipment, yeah, yeah okay, so. yeah, All right. So yeah, did we deliver on those the concerns that you had? Yeah, any reservations you did have? Yeah, if you had a good result, I guess. Yeah, so far it, the the results have been uh, excellent. Like yeah. the, that first project is is not um, quite finished yet, but the the high side of the, the early results are pretty. Early good. results are very good. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, just a bit about that first farm. I guess uh, first project it was a it's a farm, and the first field I think was 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 called a twelve hundred acre yeah. field. So it was. It was Probably the biggest opti service job we've done in as one design, and yeah, you've you've had that in for a season now, and and you, you haven't had a great season in terms of rainfall, but it's been tested, and, and you're pretty happy with the how it's performing. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we have we have had um, one re- really good um, rain event, and uh, things seem to work out like they like they should have. We've got a little bit of tidying up to do yet, but basically, the, yeah. Yeah, the the, uh, the ponding and the and the um, issues, flooding issues we'd seen previously, and we've we've been farming that paddock since two thousand and two, so that's uh, twelve years, and uh, we, all of those issues we've had are, are, that we saw all of those years in major rainfall events have have been dealt with now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right. What impressed you most about working with? Opti surface designs and and us, I guess, designing them for you. Yeah, well, just the comprehensive way you go about it and doing the um, looking at all the options and the uh, most cost effective way of getting the drainage right, and that, that's what we really wanted. Yep. And I think that uh, I think you delivered on that. Yeah, and the low earthworks, obviously, are a big. Um... Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a very uh, sort of intelligent way to drain. <laughs> country more yeah. so than what we've done before yeah yeah what yeah. were you doing before well we've obviously a lot of mandara country was naturally melon hole country and and it's all been leveled and that was all done sort of manually more or less by eye we've never had laser gear but um right it was done you know manually by eye and then land planed and and uh, that 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 sort of sorts very small localized ponding issues yeah, out, yeah. but what it tend to generate was it was bigger areas. Of oh, okay. Mm. Right. Yeah. yeah, I get that. Okay. 
what are the outcomes and benefits that were most valuable to you? Well, I guess obviously the areas that were very, very uh, inclined to grow little in, in a wet season will we'll now get the worthwhile yield off it. Yep. And, uh, and obviously you're not bogging around with machinery as much planting, you can plant more, you know, um, timely and they're not going around areas and all that sort of thing. Yeah, sure. And finally, is there anything we can do to improve service to you? Um, yeah. yeah, well, I think like today, uh, coming out and actually having a look at the particular paddocks we were, we're going to um, going to design for us and see it, it, I think that's a valuable part of the exercise, yeah. Mm. Okay, excellent. Anything else? Um, I couldn't really add anything else to that, Graham. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, you and Ed have been very patient with lots of our coming and going with these designs and working, get, getting the details sorted out, and, and that's been great. Okay, great.